Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video is gonna be all about fragrance oils, which is a really, really fun part of the whole candle making process. I think that probably it's everybody's favorite part of just getting a bunch of new scents. You go really crazy, you see everybody with kind of their huge one ounce collection um, of their scents that they order from multiple different suppliers. I know that right behind me, these are all of my fragrance oils. They're not all of them because I have gone through a lot of the one ounce samples, so these are just a lot of the ones that I have. And um, people just love buying scents, and I totally get that because it's really fun. It's so much fun to order order from all these different candle sites and believe me there are thousands of different scents that you can try but you have to remember a couple things one you have to be a little bit reasonable with how many you are trying and what's going to be reasonable for testing um, so I don't what, what I don't want is to is to be like a Debbie Downer and say don't buy you know over 10 different scents because that's just it, it's not fun and I want you guys to have fun when you're starting out just don't get yourself to the point where you're purchasing like 60 or 70 different scents and your mind is just going crazy and you don't know where to even begin um, So this is what I would recommend to anybody just starting out and I mentioned it in my video I believe it was like the novice candle maker video. So just like my advice to beginners and What I recommend for you to do is you can try different scents But what I would recommend is to pick three or four different suppliers um, candle suppliers and What I recommend is for you to pick a scent from each of the suppliers so for instance I think I chose lavender for the example so if you know that you want to have a lavender in your line um, pick a lavender from all different suppliers and then you can test and see which lavender you like the best because I, I can't even tell you how many times that I have settled on a scent that I want in my line but I think in my head well, maybe Aztec had a better scent or maybe um, Candle Science had a better one of that one, but I just am already so focused. I've done the testing and in the back of my head, I think, is that one better though? Like, does that have a better hot throw? Is that gonna perform better? So that's what I would do differently and that's what I would recommend for anybody when you're trying out. Um, but don't hold back. I mean, if you're, if there's sales, I know that Aztec, they do, um, I believe it's five for five. So they do five one ounce cents for $5. Candle Science has um, their half off sale or a dollar sale or whatever it is. I think it's half off and um, on their one ounce uh, sample sizes. So definitely when you can take advantage of that if you can definitely do so but what a lot of people do and what I've seen in the Facebook group is that so many people are so overwhelmed by how many scents that they have and I get it because I was in the, in the exact same boat especially when I had different scents that were like something else so if I had a scent um, for instance during Christmas time there was like I think I had four or five different pine scents and I'm like well I don't know which one's the best like how do I know which one is the best one to you know put in my line or to try to sell and I mean obviously at the time I wasn't selling but you know thinking for I'm already thinking for Christmas time for this year kind of already shopping a little bit for um, holiday and fall scents not gonna lie you guys I um, definitely looking into that right now because it makes me happy and I'm thinking about ordering some and putting some in my line during this time to try to bring some joy to everybody um, but anyways so when you're looking at fragrance oils um, first of all make sure that you're ordering it from a candle supplier so you don't want to just type in a fragrance oil that's um, for instance for perfume or you know something like that um, which I have come across before I've tried to find a fragrance oil and it ended up being a perfume fragrance oil that you can't use in candles so you want to make sure that it is a candle supplier a lot of times um, candles and soap um, and body products typically go hand in hand, mainly candle and soap suppliers. And um, Brody, you're clicking and clacking on the on the kitchen floor. So you wanna make sure that the fragrance oils are specifically made for candles. So that's definitely something that you want to make sure when you're ordering fragrance oils. Another thing is a lot of people want to use essential oils in their candles. And trust me, you guys, when I first started making candles, 
I was very much like a lot of you guys that are looking into making candles. You want to make them um, as natural and pure as you possibly can. But we always have to remember that natural doesn't always mean better. Um, for instance, when you're out on a hike, uh, natural poison ivy is not going to be a good thing for your body. Um, so when it comes to natural products, not everything natural is going to work when you're trying to create something, especially with a candle and you're trying to put essential oils in it. So essential oils are meant to be diluted and a carrier oil if you're going to be using it like on your skin or something I used to be very much into essential oils back in 2014 and 2015 and um, I had learned all about different carrier oils and the different percentage ratios that you want to have with oils and where to put them on your body and I would also diffuse them in a diffuser so that um, doesn't have any heat to it so none of the none of the process of using essential oils how they're made to be used has anything to do with adding heat to it. I mean, as much as we want to create a candle that's all natural and completely pure and all that, I mean, the only way that you would really be able to do that is um, by using beeswax and not putting any scent into it. So that's not very fun. And um, they make candle fragrances that are phthalate free um, and don't have the extra harmful additives to it that they once did. But basically, bottom line, don't use essential oils for candles. Definitely use fragrance oils that are made for candles. I've also made a previous video before a few months back of me calculating fragrance oil percentages and how you would be able to determine that when you're making candles in a certain size jar. So I will link a card right here just so you guys can watch that video when this is done if you guys are interested in um, learning about how to know exactly what percentage of the fragrance oil to wax that you need to put inside. Um, and another good thing that you want to pay attention to when you're working with wax because with me, with my wax, um, I can go up to a 12% fragrance load, which means that 12% of the candle will be fragrance oil. So um, I don't don't necessarily go up to that amount I do about 10 to 10.5 percent and I get a really good hot throw but with other waxes it's completely different so you always want to make sure that wherever you're getting the wax from that you are getting the directions on it how high to heat the temperature when to pour the fragrance oil in and then when to pour it into your jars so you want to make sure that you're looking that up and um, that you're getting all the information and if you don't have that on the website or they don't provide that call the company email the company make Make sure you're getting all the necessary information because I won't be able to tell you guys exactly what percentage you need to be using or um, how to uh, heat your wax up. You have to find out with your specific wax because all waxes are different. So what works for my wax that I'm using might not work for yours. Um, so I don't want to be giving you guys false information. So it's always best to do as much research as you can and contact the suppliers if you have any questions um, about fragrance load or anything about it. Another thing about fragrance oil that's really important to know is that you will always be measuring in weight. So suppliers will sell it in weight and you have to be measuring it into your candle in weight. So everything that you will learn with the candle making process is that everything is determined by ounces in weight or grams. So you have to make sure that you have a scale um, to be able to measure um, grams. So what I have is just a little pocket scale and I think I got this from Harbor freight tools and um, it's just a little bit more accurate than my other scale that's more of like a shipping scale so it's meant for heavier items whereas this I believe goes up to five pounds or something like that I don't know I might be wrong but it doesn't go up very um, very high in weight so it's a lot more accurate so everything that you do is a decimal point so if you're doing grams um, it'll tell you the decimal point and not just um, the whole rounded number versus my other scale just does the whole rounded number. So if you are measuring out fragrance oil, I highly recommend that you get a very accurate scale that will give you decimal points. So that will give you a lot more of an accurate
accurate rating because sometimes when you are pouring the fragrance oil, you might need a, a decimal point. And that actually segues into my next topic, which is mixing fragrance oils. So this is gonna be a whole new world when it comes to actually creating different scents for your candles. So these are just kind of the tips that I would recommend. So what you can do, because I, I've heard a lot of people ask when you're mixing two fragrance oils together, let's say it's vanilla and peppermint. So I have just a very easy um, combination of vanilla and peppermint that I do um, during the holidays where I'm you know, making like a candy cane scent. So what I do is I do 40% peppermint and then 60% vanilla. I just found that the peppermint can be a very overwhelming scent. So I wanna make sure I still have a lot of that like warm and sweetness added to it. So a lot of this is just testing. So there's no right or wrong way. There's just whatever scent you think works well when you're mixing two fragrances together. Um, what I have uh, heard somebody else say, I'm sorry, I can't give credit to you because it was a post I saw briefly uh, like months ago, was what somebody does is they take two Q-tips and they dip the tip of the Q-tip into each scent and they put it together and then they're able to smell the two scents together. Um, and then what you're able to determine from that is if you're getting a stronger scent from one of them and not the other, then maybe you can take that scent down a little bit and then maybe do like a 30, 70 on the scent that's you know a little bit stronger. So you can take that down to 30, do 70 on the other, and then you can make a candle from it and then just test it. And it's not always gonna be good. It's not always gonna be perfect. So a lot of this is just trial and error and testing. And if you haven't learned that from my videos now, then I don't know, because <laughs> there's tons of testing in candle making so it's just a fun process so you can't be too hard on yourself and you can't take it super seriously when you're testing fragrances because it's just a fun part of the process. I think that's everything that I want to say about fragrance oils, but I did want to end this video just on a little bit of a fun note and a mini fragrance oil haul. So um, a few hours ago, I just got my order from Aztec Candles, which is candlemaking.com. And um, I ordered duplicates of some of them because I don't know, I just, I'm a little weird sometimes when it comes to ordering scents. Um, sometimes I don't want the four ounce, but I want a little bit of a one ounce. So if they don't have a two ounce option, I'll just get two of the one ounces. Yes, I know it's not very cost effective, but that's just how I do it sometimes to test the samples. I have no rhyme or reason to it. I just do it so that I can kind of do more things with it. So if I make a few melts with it or I make a candle, um, because one of these, one of these, um, so I go by grams, so it's 28 grams, which is one ounce. Um, that makes almost one candle. So I put 25 grams of fragrance oil in one of my candles in one of these candles. So one of these candles has 25 grams of fragrance oil. So that pretty much uses up the whole thing and then I can't really do too much with it. So that's why sometimes I like to order another sample. Anyways, um, I'll start with the bigger one that I got because I already have tried this one. So this is tobacco and I actually really like this scent, which is funny because I don't know, just tobacco, like you wouldn't think that it would be a nice scent, but it's mixed with like a lot of like woodsy, like mahogany, sandalwood type of uh, like notes to it. So it's a really nice scent. And um, I have an idea for uh, like a story that I wanna do with that scent, um, like from my personal memories and stuff. Um, so moving on to the, the next one, apple spice. So here is kind of getting into the whole like, I wanna do holiday scents right now. So this is apple spice and it smells so good. This smells, it's super fresh like, very very fresh apple pie like when like apple pie like sitting on a window like on a fresh day i don't know like that's how i that's how i get that that scent of that one very very nice um this is mahogany teakwood so i tried the mahogany teakwood from california candle supply i love it it's not that i didn't like it it just I was ordering the other scents and i wanted to do more with mahogany teakwood so i just ordered this one and this one smells oh my gosh exactly like the other one I love this scent, you guys. This scent is probably one of my favorite, just like straight up like dude in a bottle. That's what that smells like. And then I'm really excited about this one. So this is called Ice Cream Parlor and another type of um, exciting thing that I'm gonna add to my line if I end up liking this scent. Um, but it's so nostalgic for me. It smells so good. Um, and I, my first job was at an ice cream 
parlor. So, um, an ice cream shop. So the, it's just, I mean, the amount of memories and the amount of nostalgia out of that, like just, I have so many ideas with like the story and like a name that I could do. So I'm excited for that one. If I end up liking it, which I hope I do. Oh, and then I got another one of that cause I, wanted to make more than just one and then I got love spell which is like gosh I love that scent so much that one's actually really nostalgic for me too this one reminds me of my mom a lot because she had the uh, love spell spray I don't even know if it was Victoria's Secret I think it was a knockoff Walgreens version but either way it smelled exactly like it and um, it smells so good oh my gosh it smells so good so I have ideas for that one. I know that a lot of people really love Love Spell. Um, as you can tell, I love fragrance oils. I love talking about them. I love smelling them. Um, if you guys haven't seen my Candle Science uh, fragrance oil, or I did review 37 of my fragrances months back as well. So I'm just going to link everything in the description box below so you guys can go check it out. Also, check out my Etsy shop if you guys haven't already. And then I newly um, put in a link for you guys to design your own um, brand shirts and everything. So I designed this uh, myself and had it made and sent to me. So that was really cool. And I love this shirt so much and I wear it all the time. Um, so I'm going to be making a video on how exactly I did that, how I went on to Printful and was able to design it. There's ways where you can get uh, discounted um, sample products and uh, free shipping and you're able to just get some for you. So like when the world opens up again and we're able to do farmers markets, you'll be able to have your own like merch essentially in your booth. So I'm looking into designing my own fanny pack um, because I love fanny packs. Like if you guys have not had a fanny pack, like it's, it's amazing. I love them so much. Um, so a fanny pack and they have like a ton of different items that you can put um, anything on. So check out Printful if you guys haven't already. There's like tons of stuff that you can like look around to. Um, and just to be completely honest with you guys, it is an affiliate link. Basically all it means is that I get like a very small amount if you guys do decide to purchase something, but it doesn't cost you guys anything else. So it's basically just like to support me essentially so it'd be pretty cool um i i love it so i'm gonna order more i'm actually looking into ordering um some more stuff really soon um along with everything else that i need to order my care cards um more fragrance oils i just have so much to more to order and so much more to do so um yeah everything is really cool right now and i think i just made my 40th like sale, like 40th item sold, um, like a couple hours ago. So I'm just, this is like the coolest thing ever. And I had somebody, um, a really sweet girl, she purchased uh, tons of stuff from me and left me really nice feedback. And it's just been really cool so far. And I appreciate you guys so much. I mean, I just hit 2000 subscribers a few days ago and now we're already at like 2000, like 2100 or close to 2200 or something like that. I don't know. It's crazy. Like Thank you guys so much for everything. If you guys have any more questions about fragrance oils or anything, um, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Again, I try to leave as much information in the description box as possible. So go ahead and check the description box first because I try to do a bunch of links to websites and um, different things that I recommend. So check that out first. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at memoryboxcandleco. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.